Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I just checked the post office box and I got some beautiful cards. I just wanted to say thank you to Melanie. <gasps> Look at that beautiful card. Oh, the horse. And that is so awesome that you've been to Ohio. I've not been to Oregon, but I want to. And then Virginia sent a card. I think you watched my last Christmas uh, card exchange. What a beautiful card she made. I, I haven't gotten ready to send them out this year, but I will send you a card for sure. And thank you so much. And it's just one card. Uh, we did it for last Christmas, but now we're early starting this year. But look at that beautiful card she made, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I hope to be able to, to, uh, ex to display that this year. So Virginia, thank you so much. I just love getting Christmas cards. It's Thursday. Did I say that? It's 5.30. I'm off work for the day. And I'm headed to the grocery store. Which I typically go on the weekends. For those of you who know. But tomorrow I'm getting a special visitor for about a week. Or a little longer than a week. 10 days. I'm not sure how long she's staying. But my co-worker, Wendy. Her dog, Ellie Mae. Her name is Ellie. But I'm going to call her Ellie Mae. Because I think that's just cute. I renamed her dog. Okay? I did that. Uh, her name's Ellie, and she is going to come stay with me for the week. She's a beautiful golden retriever. She's four years old, and we're going to have so much fun. So, um, part of it is I don't want to leave her home alone. I mean, it's a new place, so I won't be, I mean, I'm COVIDing anyway with the whole trying to quarantine thing. So, I've already done my Dollar Tree hauling, and now I'm going to go and do my grocery storing so that my videos, oh, my nails, my videos will be up next week. And I will have some doggy content for you. Yeah, she's so cute. I can't wait to show you, but you'll see her in just a few minutes. All right, I gotta go to the grocery store. Hi, Ellie girl. I'm dog sitting this week, guys, but let's look at this disaster. <sighs> okay, well, got a Dollar Tree haul that needs to be videoed. I'll do that today. And then part of having a YouTube channel is I get things frequently to review. This I'm excited about. It's a new tripod for my camera. Some lights. I've got back to school supplies for my little cousin that I need to clean up. And then I have a tea kettle that needs to be reviewed. Guys, my life, what is it? And then we have Ellie girl. Hi Ellie, sit, sit. She's not listening. But her's a pretty girl. Who's a pretty girl? So I have her until Friday. Oh, she's a wet drinker. So we have her water over there. So yep, this is what we're going to get into today, guys. All right, friends and family. I need to get all this stuff under control. Okay. So... Like I said, I get stuff to review. This is a tripod. I need to put it on the charger. I'll show you up close and personal in a little bit. Right, Ellie girl? Bento box and outdoor lights. That all needs to get reviewed. This is trash. This box is gonna become our back to school box for my cousins. Every year, this is something I like to do for them, and I get them their back-to-school stuff. But they're getting older now, so it's not as exciting, but I did grab them some pencils and markers for projects and stuff. Um, Riley will be in senior year in high school, and Addison will be in eighth grade. So, I just got to take inventory of all the things that I have. All right, oh, and I found this planner for Addie on Amazon. It was $8.99, it's a student planner. And it has weeks, days, I think there's some stickers in here and she loves the colors white and this teal this year. So I found that $8.99 on Amazon. Um, our numbers are increasing around here, so I'm trying to stay out of the stores. I got I got them different um, these are folders, but they're the poly, so they're plastic. Um, Riley gets 
scarlet and gray for the Buckeyes and orange and black for the Cincinnati Bengals. And then I just got Addison different lighter colors. And then Addison also needed um, index dividers. So I got her those. And then she needed uh, binders. Five binders. Crazy, huh? But that's what their school wants. And she'll use these if she stays home or goes to school, I'm assuming. So that's hers. I think that's it for now for school supplies. Perfect. So I can get that out of the way. This is more Dollar Tree stuff that has to go in a video soon. Perfect. And trash. All right, let's get this show here so I can go get it charged up. So I need to do a review on this. It's, I don't even know the, oh, it's P-U-I-U-I-S-O-U-L. Hi, buddy. It is a selfie stick tripod. So watch this. So it opens up. This screws down if you put, like, if you have a telephone, I mean, no, if you have a camera, you can screw this into your camera or if you have a cell phone like I do it's a holds it it's a pretty strong and then down here this is our tripod bottom so it stands up and then this part here uh, is Bluetooth I think Maybe not. Oh, yeah. It's Bluetooth, so you can do um, zoom in, pictures, all that. This is what needs to get charged. I don't typically use that, but I will see how it works. So, yeah, this is nice. It's very sturdy, um, which is great. Yep, and then you just carry it like that, and it fits in, like, your backpack. It's pretty cool. So I'll charge it up and we'll see how that works. But next stop is I need to do a review on the tea kettle and I need to do my Dollar Tree haul. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Why don't you come home? It's warm out here. Buddy, I'm going to come scoop you up. Come on. This cat would lay in the front yard like this for days. But he's getting scooped up and brought in the house now. We are going to get some dinner rolling here. I've got the oven heated. I took some chicken thighs. They are boneless, not skinless. And I marinated them in um, Olive Garden Italian. Oh, I love it. So, but we're going to bake it. I just like baking it without the bone, but I do like the skin. That helps with my keto. Um, but the the bone, I don't. I think helps it not or makes it not cook better. So there we have it. Chicken, six thighs. I just put them in a 350 degree oven. I don't know for like 30 to 45 minutes. Who knows? And then we're gonna make broccoli. So this is fresh broccoli that my friend brought me out of her neighbor's garden. And I'm just gonna get some water in the pan, oh, some water in the pan going. I just blanch it, boil it real quick, and then I'm gonna toss it in some garlic butter. And that's gonna be dinner. But I need to like, you know, blanch it up a little bit. And then I'll make some garlic butter, which is literally garlic and butter and salt and pepper. That's it. Alrighty guys, so we have, the broccoli has been cooked. I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter in this pan. So I think that should be enough. And then I need some um, garlic. Because I like garlic. If you don't like garlic for your broccoli, you don't have to. Isn't that how cool? But I put a, a fair amount of garlic in there. And 
then I'm just melting up. Oh, I might need a little more butter than that. I have a lot of, a decent amount of broccoli over here, so I think that's good. And then I'm going to put Parmesan cheese on it, but I just added some more butter. It's just to your taste, you know? And then I won't salt and pepper. Well, salt it till the end. I will pepper it. But Parmesan cheese has salt in it. Um, so I'll hold on. I mean, I may give it just like a juge of salt. But the Parmesan that I'm going to add has... Um, it has salt in it. So we are just... And the chicken is almost ready. Here's that better. Yep. So I'm just... Uh-uh. Ellie, my little friend here, thought she was going to get in the trash. No. Now, you don't want to ever overcook your garlic because it will um, burn. But I'm just melting the butter in here, kind of just giving it a little, a little quick cook down of the garlic. And then... Everybody's cooked. So just let it go for a second. And you can let your butter brown a little bit if you like, but just be careful with the garlic. And that's my cooked broccoli. Now this happened to be garden fresh, but you can also use um, frozen for this or steamed or whatever. It doesn't matter. Perfect. I'm going to turn that off. And then we're going to put some parm in there and that is it and then I'll taste it and if it needs salt I'll salt it to taste but there we go that's my broccoli to go with the chicken that's getting ready to come out of the oven here in a minute so we will get this rest out I'm just gonna let this just do its thing okay chickens out of the oven now I'm gonna get this question these are chicken thighs, they're boneless. I baked them until the chicken was done and then I moved my rack up one and I put it under the broiler to crunch up the skin. Because you, if I let this cook until that skin looked like that, the chicken underneath would be so dry. So I just broiled it so I could get like a grilled type effect. So that is my chicken, I'll show you a finished plate. All right guys, we're getting ready to edit this video and finish it up and I wanted to show you my new lights that I got. I got these from Amazon to review and they're like cafe lights and I hung them in my front window and I love it. I enjoy that immensely. There we go. There's a better view and a cat in the window. I just love how warm and cozy that makes my window look. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.